Hello and welcome to Blots for MMA. Assalamu alaikum alaikum. Today we play again. Either or, rather or, however you want to call it. There are several episodes already out. Always with just me in front of the camera. Now we do it together. And the questions were asked by Turkish DC. For those of you who don't know him yet, watch some older videos. He's the behind the camera guy, normally that asks questions. He sent it to me to WhatsApp. I haven't seen them yet. I will read them out from my phone and we will both answer the questions. Stay tuned guys, subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment down below what your pick would have been. Okay, Mr. DC, let's see what questions you wrote down for us here. First question is, would you rather drink a shoe from Thai Tuivasa, probably with the shoe of Tuivasa and he spits mm. in it because they spit in it before the <laughs> yeah, shoe? That. Or wear a gi of Derek Lewis, that Derek Lewis, like Derek Lewis trained in a gi, all sweaty, you wear it after it. For how long? Yeah, I think. Uh, like it doesn't it doesn't change anything about the disgusting fact. Oh shit. Who answers first? Ladies first. Ah oh, you, <laughs> you have the longer hair. I would take the shoey. Why? Because it's like it's like on a body basis, like it's alright. Somehow it's disgusting, but you do it with your bodies. When I have to wear someone else's used gi, it's it's more like a torture for me. Like it's like ah. I, I would I would wear Derek Lewis key because a shoey I would probably do it for some nice videos or something, but it's disgusting. Tied to Ivaza, I think this guy wears the whole the same shoes for like three weeks in a row uh, without uh, without on. ever putting them out or something. Always wear probably he sleeps in it or something in his old Air Jordans, sweats like a mother effer, and he spits in it before. And he's, I don't know. And the Louis key, look, I can wear it. I, I, I don't have to like lick it or something. I just wear it. Yeah, it's maybe probably not nice. You but after that, I put it off and I go to the shower. It's all good. You, after the whole time, the knowledge that you just drunk out of the stinky shoe of Tuivasa with his spit in it. But it's okay. Dude, I love beer. It's fine. I see, I see. Would you rather do a smoke contest <laughs> against Nathan Diaz? Nate Diaz. Marijuana. Or spar with Tony El Cucuy Ferguson. The smoke contest, of course, is not just, yeah, you just smoke with him a little bit, have some fun. It's like you smoke against him. Yep. So if, if you have to smoke until you fuck Mm -hmm. What would you do? Is it obvious? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> How the f is that even a question? Have you ever, have smoke, you ever smoked of weed? Course. Huh? Have you ever tried weed? No. You're a fake lying rat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I would do that, man. Yeah, I would definitely. Also, waking up after a knockout from weed is easier than from Tony Ferguson's shin, yeah. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Or his elbows too. This is a no-brainer. Like, of course, I would probably have some uh, stomach illness afterwards after all the smoking with Nate, but at least at the end of the day, it's something that you can enjoy. Sparring with Tony, I don't think I would enjoy it too much. <laughs> mm, no one does. Would you rather be a translator for Steopic? I think fuck Steopic. Or be a translator for Charlie Olives, Charles Oliveira. Um, am I supposed to be able to speak Portuguese already? Yeah, because then you're you're a translator. Like mm. you don't. I would be for Charles because he's from Brazil, so I'm gonna hang out with him there, right? Who True. So? And you can actually, if you are capable of understanding. Portuguese, you will understand Charles. You can be capable of all the languages in the world and you still won't understand Sipe. I'm real good earlier, man. DC the top. I'm gonna give it to him now, man. So I'll go to choose Oliveira because, like, Sipe, <laughs> I like you, but I don't understand what you say. 
I mean, could you imagine Stipe and Nate in a classroom? Like having a disco oh, political discussion. Oh my God. Cleveland, we are world champion. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's an easy one. Would you rather sing Foggy Dew? That's the walkout song of Connor. Yeah. What, how? Again, again. <laughs> in a Dagestani gym. You sing this song oh. in a Dagestani gym. Okay. Or you sing the Dagestan song. Uh, there, in Ireland. In the Irish pub. Not in the gym. Gym is probably like more cult cultivated people. Pub is like, in Ireland, we uh, don't go to wine testings. We go to the pub. But they wrestle with grizzlies over there and with bears. They fuck you up as well. <laughs> brother, brother. I go into Dagestan gym. I sing this foggy dew song, brother. And after I sing it, I say, brother, this song number one bullshit, brother. What is this bullshit? And then they're like, brother, you're right, brother. Welcome to the family. It's a good impression, man. Well, I would also sing in Dagestan, I think. I think the Irish people, they would really take that bad, mm. you know? Yeah, probably. And you probably couldn't like explain to them because they're just drunk crazy people in the pub are just like, yeah, fucking Roshan, man. They, they what are you singing? They probably don't even know which song that is. It's from Khabib or so, but they still just don't like it and they're going to fuck you up. Like, I can imagine that if you sing that in um, the Black Forging, Connor's mm. pub, uh, some people would know from who uh, this song sure. is. So, yeah, that's a risky one. We go to Dagestan. Yeah, we go to Dagestan. Last one. Would you either fight Conor McGregor on the roids? Like you can take roids, PEDs, performance sensing substances, mm -hmm. to fight him, or fight Artem Lobov, the goat, without any like natural. You know what? Natural, like without roids. You can fight oh. Conor, but if you fight Conor, you, you are allowed to take performance enhancing substances. Oh, that's easy. I take Conor, man. It's the money fight. Red Panty Night, man. Red Panty Night. Dude. True. No one would pay me to fight uh, or watch me fight Artem Lobov, man. Brother, I watch Artem Lobov all day. Artem, you the f***ing man. Yeah, I would also take Conor Royce because Artem is 145er slash 155er that always fought 145 in the UFC. So he's a little bit lighter than Conor, yes. But if I can take Royce, I right now could fight at lightweight, featherweight. Maybe featherweight, but definitely lightweight. If I would take roids and all the PEDs, I would just go to Dillashaw and say, hey, give me the full program. And if I take all the PEDs, he will still smash me, but it's like your chin is better, you're stronger. And then let's wrestle, kid. Let's wrestle, let's wrestle, let's wrestle. And yeah, then just wrestle him. That would be fun. I don't know. I would look like Brock Larsner. <laughs> Short one or what? He's mini me. Yeah, I would, I would also tattoo uh, the same tattoo as he has, like a sword. No, you get the Swiss Army knife. <laughs> <laughs> the Swiss Army knife. Oh, that would be. That would look cringe, man. That would look cringe. Yeah. Mm. So I would say let's go to Dagestan then. Let's go to Dagestan. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this was the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. Was well, a little bit of a uh, different one since DC. Send us the questions from the chat. Leave a comment. How did you like these questions? What question was the craziest one? Where did we do the wrong decision? Write it all in the chat. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, guys. Follow Chris on Instagram. And see you soon, boy. Eat your vegetables, guys. Bye-bye. Bloodsport out. Eat your vegetables.